All right, just as a recap, we have where we can shoot our enemy, and it's kind of hard for me to move. <laughs> um, you can see our energy, or our bullets go up, but when he crashes into us, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and polish this. Um, let's go open our enemy script. And you know what? We'll code this in our movement script. We'll just keep it in one nice, neat little practice. Because the reason is, it's nice to um, have it where everything that affects the player is within the uh, the movement script or the player script. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, to make life easier, I'm going to just copy code. So from our rocket script, um, I'm going to copy all of this. So notice I'm copying from this curly brace to this, and I'm grabbing that whole void function. Um, if you want, you can pause it after I paste this, because I'm going to delete everything that's inside of here for a second. I'm going to recopy this, but go ahead and pause this if you feel like you want to just practice typing it, and type this code. Now remember, I'm under the void on GUI here. So this method, or function, is by itself, and then you want to start a new method. You can't have a method within a method. Okay, so right now we have void on trigger enter, collider, other object, and we're going to say if our other object, which is a game object, is tagged enemy, we want to do a couple things. One, we want to decrease player lives, right? Or ship lives, rather. So here's ship lives. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it, and I'm just going to put minus minus semicolon. Um, so right now, if he bumps into us, let's go ahead and save this and test it out. We're going to, we should see our ship lives go down uh, if it doesn't error out on us. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it seems to be working. I think. We want to make sure that we have, because we're doing on trigger enter, we want to make sure that our blocks collider is on. Now, uh, remember this is our player prefab, so I'm going to um, it's on, and I want to turn on is trigger. So let's uncheck maximize on play so you can see that. So two, one, zero. Okay. Now, mind you, again, I turned on is trigger and I made sure my box collider is on. Um, you're going to have to, I'm going to let it leave it up to you guys to try to figure out how to do an application.load level. That's a trick on how to get it to do a win or lose screen. So let's go ahead and um, go back into our movement script and let's finish coding this. So what I want to do here is on my enemy script is, or I'm sorry, rocket script, I want to be able to, again, move my enemy when he bumps into me. So notice how I'm copying all of this code here. I want to move that, again, my enemy, um, remember this is the Y and the X. Now if you if you forgot what any of this means, make sure to go back and retrace this or go back and watch the previous videos. It's only going to help you to become a better C-sharp coder and to write your own games in Unity. Okay, So let me go ahead and press play. You can see as he bumps into me, he changes direction. So it's either that or I can shoot him. And now I'm going into negative lives. Now your assignment, if you're one of my students uh, and you're watching this, is to figure out how to um, load another level if if your energy so remember your energy is ship lives if your lives are less than or equal to zero to load a level so I'm gonna do you one I'm gonna do you a favor here and I'm gonna actually show you how to figure that out but I won't give you the answer so I'm gonna just type in unity scripting reference and I'm going to say okay um, and obviously I visit this a lot how do I load a level so I'm going to go to load level see what comes up so you can see there's application dot load level and C sharp and it says here application dot load level high score okay um, so if something happens application dot load level high score well, how do you get high score? Well, that's the actual scene file name. So you can see here that my file's name is, let's get all this out of the way, is currently uh, space game. So if I do, let's save this. If I do new scene, or say uh, new project, or not new project, I'm sorry, new scene, and I name this 
lose screen and I save it in my scenes here you'll notice we have now have a file called lose screen and you can do whatever you want any kind of artwork you'd like in here and so that's you'd actually do this you'd actually do application not load level lose screen so I'm, I, I can help you with this in class later but this is sort of your homework assignment okay so your goal is to figure out how to do a win and lose screen